Okay, so uh, in this video, I want to talk about a, a prophecy that's being fulfilled today that we can see with our own eyes. Because, uh, uh, you know, uh, there have been a number of times when uh, I've been asked to show in the Bible prophecy that's being fulfilled in our time. And uh, one that doesn't ever get talked about. I've not come across anybody talking about this, but it's amazing in my opinion uh, that this prophecy that Jesus gives is happening and we should be able to identify it very easily today. Okay. Um, so let me close that out. All right. So this is, uh, this stems from uh, Luke 23. If you're familiar, uh, just to remind you that this is when uh, Jesus stood before Pilate and Pilate's like, I don't see anything wrong with this guy, but the Jews demanded that they crucify him. And so he said, okay. And uh, Pilate gave a sentence that it should be as they required. So uh, just to, just to confirm, if you will, um, it was the Jews that had Jesus killed. It was Pilate that ordered the sentence. It was the Romans that actually stuck him. But it was the Jews that demanded that he be killed. So, And we read about this uh, in other places in the Bible as well. There should be no doubt that it was the Jews that had him killed, but it was the Romans that executed the judgment. All right. So uh, anyway, so the... Pilate makes this judgment, and uh, and uh, he released him, and so on and so forth, and uh, but delivered Jesus to their will, the Jews. And as they led him away, they laid hold upon one. Okay, that's not not that it's insignificant, but it's not to the point that I'm wanting to make. So, okay, so there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. Right, so he's being a, being led away to his death, right, and uh, and all these women are following him, and they're crying and bewailing and lamenting, and but Jesus turns to them and said, "Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children, for behold, the days are coming, in which they shall say, Blessed are the barren." and the wombs that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? Right. Now, uh, just to uh, elaborate a little bit, if you don't mind. Blessed are the barren means bless, blessed are those who don't have any children and so um, what we have today are women who are going out and having their insides uh, taken out or something I don't even know what's going on there but um, blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bear so these are uh, women that don't have children and it, the, I think the key phrase here is blessed because they think hap they're happy. They think it's a good thing that they're not having children. This was not always the case. In fact, you go clear back to Adam and Eve. God uh, instructed them to be fruitful and multiply and have you know have lots of children and um, populate the earth, right? Uh, but Jesus is saying that the days are coming when women will think it's a good thing not to have children and the paps which never gave suck. So uh, we're seeing this happening today, you know, with uh, you've got abortion, you've got uh, these, uh, what do you call them, birth control pills. You've got, uh, uh, you, I don't know what they call, that's surgery or something where they take the insides out. So you got all these things happening today and they think, Okay, and you've probably heard this uh, a number of times, and somebody takes a pregnancy test, and they, they're like, oh, thank God, I'm not pregnant. No, 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 you should, what are you talking about? It's a great thing to be pregnant. But we live in a backwards society, and so lots of women, lots of people are happy when a woman finds out she's not pregnant. It's not a good thing. 
right? But they think of it as a good thing. And this was not always the case. It used to be a great thing when a woman was pregnant. It was a, a very good thing during this time. Today, we live in a backward society. And, uh, you know, people are people are the opposite, right? And there's, there's a verse here. I want to share this verse. Um, oh. I'm not sure if I remember where it's at. Isaiah, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So this is an example of backwards thinking people. All right, and this is directly related to what, I, what I'm talking about here in Luke 23, when people will say, and the key word again is blessed. You know, hey, all right, I'm not pregnant. Um, no, that's, that's backwards. That's backwards right there. It's not a good thing to not be pregnant. It's a, it is a good thing to be pregnant. It's a good thing to have children. Imagine this. Imagine your mom and dad never having you, right? Think about it. 